The next question comes from Bob. And Bob asks about running a full node with Trezor. Um, I'm aware of the importance of running a full node and validating transactions for yourself. But I keep my Bitcoin on a Trezor hardware wallet. How can I help the network and myself by running a full node when all my transactions are handled by Trezor? And I believe this, this question could be asked for any hardware wallet. Um, really, these, this is about uh, two separate aspects of monetary sovereignty, as uh, Trace Meyer calls it. In fact, which um, I'm going to steal that expression and, and use that. Having your own keys, controlling your own keys, as I've said many times before, if you have your keys, they're your coins. If you don't have your keys, they're not your coins. You're relying on somebody else. So your keys, your coins is about sovereignty over the keys and the ability to apply digital signatures. And many people use a hardware wallet to have control over their own keys. There's another aspect of monetary sovereignty, which I've also talked about, which is the idea that if you are doing transactions on the Bitcoin network, if you're receiving money, for example, you want to find out have I been paid. A lot of people will go in, type a website. Um, like blockchain info or some other website out there and they'll put their address in and look to see if if that other website thinks they have been paid when you're doing that what you're doing is you're outsourcing uh, that role to somebody else you're asking if they think you've been paid you're not validating for yourself if you've been paid if I want to check if I've received a payment, I would much rather ask my own Bitcoin node, has this address been paid? Because I know what version of software I'm running, what consensus rules I'm abiding by, which chain I'm on, whether it's fully synced. And I've configured that node to give me an authoritative answer. So if my node tells me I have been paid, I have been paid. Um, what about combining the two? So combining the two at the moment is not easy. It's not something that can be done um, for beginners. Um, many of the lightweight wallets um, don't use your own node or they don't give you an option to use your own node. And many of the hardware wallets use lightweight wallets or other company servers in order to get information about the blockchain. And that's really about user experience, design, and ease of use. Um, requiring everyone to run a full node in order to use a hardware wallet would obviously make it very difficult for people to control their own keys. So it's a bit of a compromise. On the other hand, if you do already hold your own keys and you run your own node, how do you connect the two? Um, how do you use, for example, a, a Trezor hardware wallet or a Ledger hardware wallet, but instead of using it um, with the Trezor company um, nodes providing information about addresses, instead of using it with the Ledger company nodes providing information about addresses or whatever your hardware wallet is, how do you use it with your node? Um, so far, I think the best solution I found so far is something called an Electrum personal server. And what this allows you to do is run a node and then run on top of that an Electrum personal server which converts that information to a protocol that the Electrum software wallet can understand. And the Electrum software wallet then supports a broad variety of hardware wallets. Uh, Trezor, Ledger, KeepKey, Safety, um, Bitblocks, a whole range of all of the popular um, hardware wallets. And you can use it with multisig, and it has a lot of other really great uh, features. Up-to-date support for SegWit, native batch addresses, batch 32, um, coin selection, UTXO prioritization, RBF, uh, CPFP, a lot of great geek features that I like. So I use Electrum uh, quite often, in fact, um, as a wallet. And by having Electrum connect to my own Electrum personal server, instead of connecting to the um, decentralized distributed Electrum servers out there, I'm increasing my privacy and I'm getting an authoritative answer. So. The solution that I found that I like a lot is my own node, which is uh, well a collection of nodes, in fact, with uh, Bitcoin Core software, uh, Electrum personal server, uh, or a collection of Electrum personal servers connected to each one of these Bitcoin Core nodes, and then 
um, Electrum on a laptop computer or a desktop computer um, that connects to the Electrum personal servers that connect to my own nodes, and then hardware wallets that plug in uh, to the Electrum wallet to provide key management. Uh, and that gives me, in my opinion, the maximum degree of um, financial sovereignty, uh, monetary sovereignty, both network uh, consensus, self-validation, as well as um, controlling my own keys. There are other solutions out there. I was recently talking to Trace Meyer, um, and he he prefers a solution which involves Armory, Bitcoin Core, and hardware wallets. That may also work. I think there are other solutions out there that do it too. Unfortunately, the 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 best simplest solution, which doesn't exist today, is um, Bitcoin Core supporting. Um, hardware wallets directly through the use perhaps of partially signed Bitcoin transactions, which I believe is Bit 174. I'd love to see that feature it doesn't exist today.